Cup Douglas production formula P equals C times X to the power A times Y to the power one minus A, where P is the number of units produced, X is the unit of labor, and Y is the unit of capital. C and A are constants where A is between zero and one. In this example, suppose a farm's level of production is given by the equation P equals 20 times X to the power one over four times Y to the power three over four. X represents units of labor. Y represents units of capital. The company is using 16 units of labor at the current level, 81 units of capital. If the labor is increasing by four units per month, what must the change in units of capital per month be to maintain the current level of production? Based on the cup Douglas production formula for the production equals 20 multiplied by X to the power one over four, y to the power three over four, we can compute the current production level using the provided information. As the problem provided to you, let's put the notes here, as the given or the known information at the current level, at the current level, x, which is the units of labor x equals 16, y equals 81, and the labor increasing by four units of uh, per month, the labor is the x increasing positive sign by the rate four units per month. So this piece of information tells you the x dt equals positive four. And then the unknown, or the question looks for the change in units of capital per month. So we are looking for the change of the Y with respect to time at the current level. First of all, we're gonna find out what is the current level production, le uh, what is the current level of production? Put the note here. So we're gonna find P at the current level and we can find that using the x and y values provided. So p equals 20 multiplied by 16 to the power 1 over 4 multiplied by 81 to the power 3 over 4. 16 to the power 1 over 4 that is the, the fourth root of 16 or the value 2. 81 to the power three over four, that is the fourth root of 81 or three raised to the power three, that returns 27. So we just multiply that numbers 22 and 27 together, and it comes out to be 1080. After we get the current production level, we just replace it into the left-hand side of the equation. So then we get the equation in the form of 1080 on the left equals 20 x to the power one over four, y to the power three over four. And after that, we are going to find the derivative of the y with respect to t. Before we get that piece out, we have to find the derivative of this equation with respect to t. And recall this is the implicit equation why it is implicit because x and y all together in like all over the place so it's not in the obvious form or it's not in the explicit form that y equals terms of x so to find the derivative of the implicit equation we're going to use implicit differentiation And how do we find the, how do we do the implicit differentiation? We just find the derivative with respect to time, both sides of the equations of the equation. So d by dt of 20 
x to the power one over four, y to the power three over four. The left hand side, the derivative is zero because it's the constant term. So this one is the constant. On the right hand side, we have the constant multiple. This one is called constant multiple or is the coefficient. So I'm gonna put a note here, is the coefficient. And then for the x to the power one over four times y to the power three over four, this is in the product form. When you see the product, to find the derivative, we're gonna use the product rule. The product rule said, if you have the function f and g, you multiply them, you find the derivative, you're gonna have the product of the f and the derivative of the g, and the derivative of the f times the g. In this case, it's gonna be x and y. So then we're gonna have, um, we're gonna treat the first one as the f, the second one as the g, okay? And we work on the prep note before we get everything done. And after that, we just bring everything into the main part of the problem. So for the derivative, if f, for f equals x to the power one over four, g is y to the power three over four. The f prime, which is the df by dt, is gonna be d by dt of x to the power one over four. We're gonna use the general power rule and it will give us one over four, x to the power one over four minus one times dx dt. Okay, put the note here. This step, we're gonna use the general power rule. And similar to the G part, when you find the G prime or the derivative of the G with respect to T, which is the derivative with respect to T of Y to the power three over four, general power rule as well. And we're gonna get this as three over four, y to the power three over four minus one times dy by dt. And then to simplify one more time before we bring it into the main part of the problem. So we get one over four, x to the power negative three over four dx dt as the derivative of the, um, actually derivative of the x, uh, let me write this way. I just keep it this way. And then for the G prime part, so we have three over four times Y to the power negative one over four dy by dt. So the prep work is done. Back to the main part of the problem, which we've we set up um, the implicit differentiation left and right of the equation. And then the left hand side gonna keep a zero because the constant and the right hand side, seeing the 20 is the constant multiple or the coefficient, we just write it 20 outside. And then inside we can apply the, um, the product rule, which is F times G prime plus the F prime times G. So we're gonna have the F which is the first part and the G is the second part. So the f is x to the power one over four. The g prime that we just got on the prep work is three over four, y to the power negative one over four, dy by dt. Plus the f prime is one over four, x to the power negative three over four, dx dt, and then multiply by the g, which is the expression y to the power three over four, okay? Keep in mind, this portion is from the G prime and this portion from the F prime. We call our goal is to find the rate of change of the units in capital per month. Where is the dy by dt? dy by dt is part of the expression inside of the bracket. We're gonna work on that piece and then rearrange the expression, replacing the values that we know. From what we know, um, <clears throat> the x value 
equals 16, the y value equals 81, and the dx dt, which is the change of the labels in month, is positive, which is the value four. That's the problem provided. Okay, I'm going to write it down. So this is four. So next, we are going to replace the values for x, y, and the x, dt in the problem. But before we do that, let's simplify the expression to make the, the, the pieces slick in a clean way. So I'm going to multiply 20 to 3 over 4, and I will get 15. Multiply by x to the power 4, y to the power negative 1 over 4, multiply by dy by dt. And also the same way, 20 times 1 over 4 to get 5. Multiply by x to the power negative 3 over 4. Multiply by y to the power 3 over 4. And then multiply by dx dt. For our convenience, I'm going to write negative power into the positive power. It's 1 over 4 divided by y to the power 1 over 4 times dy by dt plus five times y to the power three over four divided by x to the power three over four times dx dt. We know that x is 16, so 16 to the power one over four divided by 81, which is the y to the power one over four. The dy by dt is what we are looking for, plus five times 81 to the power three over four divided by 16 to the power 3 over 4, the x dt is 4. Okay, looks like we have many numbers to work on. So I'm going to work on the side note here. 16 to the power 1 over 4, that is the same as the 4 root of 16 or the value 2. The 81 to the power 1 over 4 or the 4 root of 81, which is the value 3. The 81, so this is 81, 81 to the power 3 over 4 is the fourth root of 81 raised to the power 3, or 3 to the power 3, which is 27, where 16 to the power 3 over 4 is the fourth root of 16 to the power 3, or 2 to the power 3, or the value 8. Next step, I'm going to replace the value one by one and then simplify as much as I can. So 15 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 times dy by dt plus 5 multiplied by 27 divided by the value 8 and multiplied by 4. Or we get uh, the first part, we get 30. 30 divided by 3. Actually, we can reduce, right? 3 goes to 15 and 5 times. So we get just the symbol like 10 dy by dt. And the second term, we get 4 and 8 reduced to be 4, uh, to be 2. So we get uh, 5 times 27 which is 135, so I'm gonna write it here. So plus, wrong color. So plus 135 divided by two equals zero. So what we're gonna do, we are going to um, solve for dy by dt. So from this part, so 10 times dy by dt equals negative 135 divided by two or dy by dt equals negative 135 divided by two multiplied by one over 10. And it will give us <coughs> the value negative inside 6.75. So, negative 6.75 as the rate of change of the units in capital per month.